Basil, have you ever scored that many points in a game without making a three pointer? Probably not. Probably not. Was it? It seemed like you made more of an effort to go at the basket tonight. Were you a little more aggressive going into the game? Yeah. No. Um, but a lot of people don't know that that's really my strength more than shooting. I've been uh, I've been really just settling for shots, which was which isn't you know my full repertoire. I try to attack more, and get in the lanes, which I can do pretty quick. So it was working. So I did that more. Was there a point where you felt like? no matter what you're going to throw up, that it was going to go. Because, I mean, there was one shot that was almost behind the backboard on the baseline, two defenders are on you, and you just kind of float it right over both of them. I was just playing basketball. Um, I, make, I make a lot of tough shots. I, make, I, can make, I can make pretty much any shot. I could fade away. I could shoot floaters. I can get in the lane. So I was really just read my defender, and that's all it was. And whenever, when I was fading, it was just a shot that we needed. I knew I had to get it up, so it was the only shot available because either he was there to cut me off or something. I mean, you scored 10 straight points at one point for WSU. Can you talk about that at all? Uh, I don't even remember scoring 10 straight points. I was just really just whatever came to me, whatever whatever opportunity I had, I just took advantage of it. I knew I was hot. I knew I was confident coming into the game. So. I was really just, just playing ball. Brock, they, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, they, they came out firing in the second half. They got up 13 at one point. How, how were you guys able to withstand that? Well, we, just, uh, we talked about getting multiple stops on defense. And once we got stops on defense, we were able to push the ball and get some fast breaks. Uh, once we uh, built our stops on D and we established ourselves on defense, that sort of frustrated them. And I think that complemented our offense because then they were getting frustrated on their offensive end. They weren't as focused on D. And that's when we hit get stops and scores, and that's how we cleared back. How much fun was it out there tonight? It looked like you were having some fun in midway through the second half, really getting into it with the other guys. Yeah, well, I'm a passionate player. And uh, when things are going bad, you need to have that same energy. And when things are going good, you got to do the same. And I thought to bring us back, we really needed to show that tonight. And the crowd got involved, and I think that assisted us. What was it like to get back to Pullman after such a long break? It was good, like playing in front of the home crowd. Uh, we played two games in Spokane over Christmas break, which was, I think, a lot of alumni. And sort of, that it was good, like a good turnout, but there's nothing like playing in front of like, your home crowd students because they always get the, the loud and energy. And but, yeah, it really helps, I think, playing home. I don't think Josh Owens missed a field goal, but I think he only had three shots in the second half. How are, how are you guys able to limit his touches so effectively? Yeah, well, in the first half, he, uh, he killed us down low, so in the second half, we put more of an emphasis on him and not letting them get second shots because when they got an uh, offensive rebound, they could spread it out and our defense would be scattered. And they could throw it right back into him and he could score. So we worked on affronting uh, him and then having some weak side and then rotating after that. What does this win do for you guys? Come back with this. Yeah, well, we've lost a couple of uh, tough games. I thought Utah was a bad loss. Colorado, we played well but they played better. University of Washington, we played well for, I think, 30 minutes of the game, and the last 10 minutes we let up. And I think tonight we played well for the majority of the game, and that's what we gotta do, is just keep getting better each game, and then each week, and hopefully uh, we can build on something. Reggie, at one point, uh, you know, you guys are down by 13 points. Uh, you know, it's pretty quiet in there. Uh, what were you guys saying to yourselves to kind of get yourselves jazzed up a little bit for the final 15 minutes there? Uh, just focus on getting some stops on defense. That's what it really was all about. I mean, we knew we could score, but it's all about getting stops. And uh, I mean, basketball game runs. We knew it was going to go in the run. We just went on our own. And the, the you know, obviously, uh, Faisal and Brock had a ton of points between the two of them. Two of the biggest shots were the three pointers, one by you and one by Devonte. Um, you know, what what was going on there? Do you guys uh, obviously feeling it at that point? Uh, I think we were on a little break and. Uh, they kind of closed in on Faisal. I think two guys took Faisal. Faisal just hit me for the wide open shot. I mean, so I just took it and made it. So, I mean, it's really still a team effort. And, and I mean, one of the the uh, people have been harping on is rebounding. Probably one of the most important plays of the game was there where Abe sort of tipped the ball back out to you after a shot and you got it to Devontae. You know, how, how big was that just tiny little play right there just to be able to get that back out? 
Uh, it's always about the little things, you know, coaches always harps on the little things, and that was a, that was a little thing that probably won't show up in the stat sheet, or, I mean, it might, but even if people probably overlooked that play, and I, like you said, it was a huge play. Without that play, who knows if we win this game. They missed a lot of three-pointers in the second half, but it seemed like you know a lot of them were a little longer looks or contested looks. You guys just seemed like you got a lot of hands and faces around the perimeter tonight. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's what Coach, Coach Johnson always said, do I make the other team miss? So we knew who the shooters were, so we were just getting out on them and, and uh, contesting their shots, make sure they weren't getting no wide open looks. Have you ever released a ball and started running up the court quicker than that last three you hit? It looked to me like the ball was like five feet out of your hand, you just turned and started five. You never even looked. <laughs> Did you even realize how quickly you left? No, I knew it was going in. Faisal passed it to me. He was like, shoot it. So I shot it and just started running back because I knew it was going in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Watch it on the tape. It's funnier than us. Was that, you think that was your best game here for WSU, Faisal? Um, probably. Probably was. What, uh, what's the most you scored in JC, you know? Uh, 60. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I don't know. Somewhere in the 30s. How about, how about high school? High school? I'm trying to be modest. Uh, <laughs> I scored 48 once. Yeah. Any more questions for Ben? Looking at Cal on Saturday, you guys got to get ready for that right away. Um, what do you got to know about Cal? Uh, Cal are an experienced team. They got shooters like Crab and interior presences with Hopper Camp. So we'll have to uh, go through the scout tomorrow, watch some film, and that'll be a really tough team. but. Playing them at home, I think we can play with anyone in the conference. And you too, Reggie. Just, can you comment about Cal and making this quick turnaround? Yeah, they got a lot of veteran players. You gotta watch out for the shooters like Crab. They got an inside presence. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> playing them at home, <laughs> we can play with anybody. <laughs> <laughs> should we even ask an explanation of that or should we just let it go? <laughs> what the hell does that mean? Just following the leader, man. He's been working on his uh, media skills. <laughs> <laughs>